Hello guys and welcome back to Comet and it's time for another tutorial part and before we're going to start I'm very sorry this part is a little bit shorter than normal and also I want to say that I'm sorry that's a little bit later than normal and that's because um, last weekend I had to go to the hospital um, suddenly that was just <laughs> I didn't expect it um, there's nothing to worry about for you guys but it only means that currently it's a little bit um, the schedule is going to be changed a little bit this week so i'm sorry that everything is going to be maybe an hour later or something like that but let's just start with creating this script so the first thing i'm going to do is update stats where we are going to create that if you haven't the uh, right climbing sword we're going to change it so if your current sword isn't climbing sword dot walking but you are actually grounded and you aren't actually uh, climbing towards a point which is like when you climb towards a point it can happen that because there's like an edge it will just uh, the crown that will just hit that edge and will think oh you can walk now while well, you actually cannot so and if you aren't climbing towards a point then we are going to say that your current sword is going to be climbing sword dot walking you're going to enable the third person use controller oops and we are going to set a uh, Richest body that can work again. So now we're going to create that when you are when this system still thinks you are just walking around, but you are actually jumping. So that current sword has to be climbing sword that jumping, and that will happen when it still thinks you are walking, but you aren't actually crowned and then the last thing you we need to change is going to be something for later um, that's for the reason that why is this an error okay i don't know um, the reason is that we didn't create that function yet and this is check for climb start this is something we're going to create I think in a week or two because this is going to be about uh, that you are uh, walking on a plateau and you see an edge then oh I already see what's the problem so that's better <laughs> um, then we need to create a public void start climbing so we're not going to do a whole bunch of work when you are start climbing so when you see uh, a wall so it will actually just if it, there's a wall in front of you it will just add a force and will just jump it's going to be if physics dot raycast will hit um, a transformed position and it will start at a transform dot rotation and we're going to multiply it by a new variable and this new variable is going to be here a public factor 3 ray cast position so as I told you it's just going to add a force to the rigid body that um, is going to be by the way we're just going to put here a public float jump force um, because you can calculate all kinds of things if there is already an edge but maybe if there isn't an edge you still want to walk on the slope or whatever you want to call it so we're just going to add a force and we'll just see what's happening what's happening so this is going to be the ray cast position and this isn't going to be just um why do we got two ray cast positions Oh, we already got it. Um, I'm very sorry. 
Um, that's probably because it's the second time I'm recording this. Uh, so a public factor tree rake as position. Um, and this rake as position is because you don't want that if you're just walking on, I don't know, a small cube, you don't want to be launched. Well, if you're just walking around uh, where there's an obstacle by your head, you also don't want it to be jumping or whatever. It will just look weird. So, well, a transform dot forward. Request position. Is this, by the way, somewhere else? I'm very sorry, guys, but we just need to check this. All right. Um, and here we are going to have that it's going to be dot for units uh, with the length of dot for for units. Um, this is going to be because we are going to set that the collider of the player is going to be dot three, and we just want to be a little bit farther away. Um, the because it's a spare, it's actually the radius is going to be dot three. So from the center of the object where we are currently at. It's going to be, uh, if you just want a little bit farther away, it's going to be dot one. Also, your time dot time minus the last time, whoops, is going to be, has to, go to be bigger than the cooldown. This is very important because otherwise we'll just keep on jumping and jumping and jumping. And also your current sort needs to be climbing sort dot walking then here we are going to create that if your current sort is walking which seems very weird for a lot of people we just checked it why do we do it again well for some reason it sometimes just say you are walking and then suddenly um, and it will just add this force but it won't update this in time because we're just going to update that it isn't walking anymore in a minute. Uh, that's because there's, by the way, a slope. Um, and for some reason it will just add the force twice. Which means you will get an insane height. And because it's not always, it's very annoying to work with it. So we just add this extra check. Um, you can just leave it if you think it's bullshit. Um, I don't care. So here we are going to multiply it with jumps force. And here we're going to put that the last time is going to be time dot time. The last function we're going to create today is going to be the public void jumping. So if you are um, going upwards you will jumping and if you go downwards we will uh, you will be falling that's going to be how you're going to see what you're currently doing so if your reach dot fellow city dot i axis is less than zero and your current sort isn't climbing sort falling because if it's already is falling why should we check it right then current sort is going to be cloning sword dot falling. Um, also, the old rotation is going to be transform dot rotation. Then, if it, you will actually move upwards, if reach it dot velocity dot i is going to be more than zero, and you aren't jumping already then you need to set the current sort to climbing sort dot jumping well and we are going to check for spots right because if you fall or if you jump you just want to check for spots but because that's in the end what we are going to do. So if your current sort is climbing sort dot jumping, we're going to do a check for spots from the hand. Uh, oops, 
hand strength dot position plus an other offset which we're going to add right here so a public factor 3 called a full hand op offset and because uh, let me just see <laughs> because um, it is only you only going to change it on the i axis we don't need to have here that it transform dot rotation multiply by the full hand offset because your i axis is always going to be the same at least for most games so it would be bullshit if we would um, recalculate everything it would just take memory uh, for nothing so uh, we're going to do it um, with the length of dot one and the checking sort is going to be normal as you can see it's very small because if you're jumping you're not very quickly jumping uh, so you don't have to uh, check for a lot of spots but if your current sword is going to be climbing sword dot falling you actually need to check a lot of space because when you're falling it's a very big change that you are actually if you have the very small that between the two times when the ray cast will be sent out you just passed already the edge where you can hang on so it's going to be on a hand trans dot hand trans dot position plus the fall hand offset plus uh, the transform dot rotation and we're going to multiply it by new factor 3 of 0 we're going to do it a little bit more down and here also uh, the reason by the way why we have this as a variable and this not is because this is something very basic this always need to happen while well, this is going to be changed on which controller you are using how big you are and so on it's going to be a again you're going to do it downwards so transform dot up minus and it's going to be have a length of four dot four units um, that is very small and it's just going to be normal or very small yeah you can see it um, so okay wait a minute checking sort dot normal yeah it is very small so you might think like why it is it so small so if you have a smaller length of raycast it will be easier for the raycast to actually check everything um, but if you think in my game you can fall very quickly you can just increase this so this is something you need to test out with try on error and if you think oh it's, it's really missing a lot of times you need to change this variable transform dot rotation is going to be the old rotation because we don't want it to rotate around its own i axis when you are falling this was it for this part in this tutorial series i'm very sorry it is this short i'm also very sorry it is too late but i ho still hope you guys liked it and you guys understand why i why it's a little bit later and a little bit shorter but i'll see you guys next time with the next part of this tutorial series bye